I'm going to show you how to make your very first art print with your Epson P900 printer and Photoshop. I'm doing this because I've had quite a few people contact me lately trying to figure out how to just get their system set up and going because there are a lot of things that you need to configure and figure out right when you're first starting using the printer. And so this is for beginners. And first things first is what type of paper to use. For this tutorial, we are going to be using Epson Premium Presentation Paper Mat. I personally love this type of paper by Epson. It is the most affordable matte paper that you can use to make art prints. So if you're trying to save some money but you still want really nice looking prints, this is the paper to use. The paper along with everything else that I discuss in this video will be linked in the description. So I'm going to assume that you've unpacked your printer, you've put in all of the inks, you've followed the initial setup instructions to install the printer software onto your computer and everything like that. I'm also going to assume that you have Photoshop installed on your computer because you're gonna wanna use Photoshop with this printer. It's gonna give you a lot more features than if you're just printing with it using the native apps that are free that come with your computer. So you want to turn your printer on. I have mine in sleep mode here, but you just push this button to turn it on. You've probably figured that out already because you've installed some of the things on here. First thing, you want to make sure that the front tray is out and then the top tray is up. And this is where we load the paper. You want to make sure that the printing side is side up. How you can figure this out, and it's a no-fail method, is when the paper comes out of the container, it's always printing side up. So just leave it the right side up when you pull it out of the container and then put it down into your printer. But if you pull the paper out and then you turn it around like this and you don't know which side is up, what you can also do is look at it in the light and the top side, the printable side, will be very smooth. The back side is gonna have just ever so slight of a texture at least on the Epson papers, which is what I recommend to print with in your Epson printer. We're gonna start with a single sheet of paper for this tutorial, but you can use as many sheets as you want. I would suggest in this printer to limit it to 10 sheets at a time, maybe 20, so that way you don't have problems with the sheet feeder, which is something that I've encountered in the past, but we're just gonna use one sheet. So we just load it in right here. And what you do is you place it in here and then you want these things to be right up against it to hold it. You don't want it to be causing creases or anything, but you want them to be a snug fit on either side. So you don't have to push them really hard, just slide them up there. And then when you do that, automatically on the screen here, it will pop up. It will ask you what the paper type is. Now you see here, I have it say ultra premium matte and the paper size is eight and a half by 11. Now this is technically premium presentation paper matte, but on the P900, if you're using this type of paper, it needs to be ultra premium matte. And you can select other types of papers and sizes by just touching the touch screen and moving up and down, but you wanna have the right type of paper selected in here. And so then you just click okay. And then it says ultra premium matte, eight and a half by 11. So you can see that on the screen. You can also see that I'm quite low on some of my inks, but this will be plenty to be able to do our tutorial. Now we're gonna edit in Photoshop, but first I wanna make sure that you have your printer connected to your computer. You can do this with either a cable connecting it to your computer or through the Wi-Fi. And honestly, you should have already done this if you've already done the initial setup on the printer, but just make sure you're able to connect to your computer. So in Photoshop, open the file that you want to print. Then what you wanna do is make sure that you have the correct ICC profiles selected. This is an important part if you want the colors to match. So don't skip this step. So go to File, Print. Up here under Printer, make sure your P900 is selected. You can see I have other printers as well, and you might too. So make sure that you've selected your P900. And then down here under color handling. You do not want it to say printer manages colors. You want it to say Photoshop manages colors. And then select your printer profile. What you'll want to do is select the right profile to match your paper. And in this case, you're going to select ultra premium 
presentation paper mat because there is not one for premium presentation paper mat. If you don't see the ICC profiles in that drop down menu like you're seeing on my screen, not to worry, you can get them installed. It's very easy. You just go to the Epson website and install their driver. I'll include a link to it in the description of this video, along with another video that I made with some troubleshooting tips. So that way, if you're just having a really hard time getting those ICC profiles to show up, you'll be able to fix it. Now we're not going to stop there. There's one more setting that we have to configure. Go to print settings, then go down to printer options and printer settings. You can see here it says use printer settings. And if it doesn't say this, if it says something else, some type of paper that doesn't match, then you want to go ahead and just set it to use printer settings. This is the easiest way to get it to print. But alternatively, if your colors aren't turning out exactly the way you want them to, you can select the exact kind of paper that you have. So in our case, you don't want to use the presentation paper mat because it puts a different color profile on there. So the ultra premium presentation paper mat is what you want to use for the premium presentation paper. I know I've said that several times, but this is a common mistake. But if you just leave everything set the way we had programmed it previously, on the printer and then just say use printer settings, then it's good. I have it programmed for speed. This is at a super fine 1440 DPI. This will be a good printing quality for really any size of print that this printer makes. You don't necessarily ever have to go up to the max quality because it's going to waste ink. I would say just do either standard or speed because they're both at 1440 DPI and it's going to make the ink much more economical. So click OK and then save. And then all we do is click print. You can see your artwork show up behind the information about how it's printing it here. And then the print will come out down here as more of it gets made. That's why we wanted to make sure to have this tray stretched out. You see down inside of there to see it printing. Yeah, and here it comes. And now we have our print. It's important to take a really close look at it. Look at the colors and make sure they match the painting that you're making the print of, or make sure they match the artwork that's on your computer screen if you're a digital artist. Because sometimes if your color's off, it might not necessarily be about how your printer is working. It might be how you've matched the colors in Photoshop, how you've configured everything. It also could have to do with your screen not being color calibrated. So there are a lot of factors to consider when getting the best possible print quality and matching print colors. I've made several other videos on how to match your print colors and color calibration. Check one of those out here. If you need more help, just post in the comments. I'll try to answer as many as I can. And hopefully this video helps you make really awesome art prints. All right, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.